Hello, this is Julia Bushkova, and today's topic is working on intonation, the necessary steps. As you all know, intonation on violin is very tricky, and it's important to use your time wisely when you're cleaning intonation. So the point number one, of course, is to hear what is out of tune. If you hear that part of your passage is out of tune, please make a short segment out of that part of the passage, uh, cutting it down to four notes, five notes, and within those identify what's out of tune. But let's say you don't hear, but your teacher told you here is out of tune, whatever. Let's say you have some notes in first position that are out of tune, and you're not sure exactly which. Um, so from something like a and you don't know if all of them are in tune or not. So what you can do with these notes in first position, I hope you know, but I will repeat just in case. The first note is A open. That B, what can we do, how do we know that B is in tune? In my opinion, you need to check it with a perfect interval. In this case, B forms a perfect interval only with the E string. If you hear like this sound, right? you know it's out of tune, even though that B sounded perfectly fine to you. So you put it, you check, and you move the finger in the direction where it will become clean. So now your double stop is very clean, and let's make no mistake here, you have to hear it clean, not just do, okay, it must be clean. You have to hear and make sure it is. Next step after that, you listen to this B alone again. Then you return to the open A, since it was your note before, and imprint it in your memory how you will arrive now on that new cleaned note of B. Then you're not sure, I've just played it, let's check it again. It happens to be very clean like this. Good for you, go back to the A and repeat the process at least three more times. But do not repeat it like this. That will do not do you much good because you will be repeating a motion, not actual arrival for the first time to your clean note. All right, now what do we do next? So we cleaned our B. Just in case, again, I will check it. Good. Then next note was a C natural. And here, let's say, I don't know. I don't know if it's in two or not. So my teacher told me to put it very close to the first finger. Is that a clean half step? No, it isn't. It's too close. That will be too close. How I know it? Hmm? I hear it because on violin, we build intervals one from one and from uh, from another so it is extremely important to train very good relative pitch and here i will show you uh, what you can do with that c hear how it's rising and rising and rising every time I place I place my finger slightly different place now let's check that C let's check that C with an open string which is not a perfect interval it is out of tune even for the open string why do I say even because when our thirds are in tune with open strings or our sixths are in tune with open strings those are false positive for our individual note intonation. They're good for the double stops, yes, but we are talking about individual note, single stop intonation. In that case, you need to build really from the previous note and not be swayed to the side by checking with other than perfect intervals. If the C was forming a perfect interval, yes, but it doesn't on violin. So in this case, we have to go by ear. and do our best to place that where we choose it to be, when we believe it's true, and then you can check it with a 
tuner, although I would probably put it by tonality slightly below the tuner C because that tuner C is slightly uh, more uh, well tempered than we usually play. So that would be my C of choice after which I would press it to my D, and D is easy because D has an open string and it's a perfect interval. And it's clean, and here I am with the fourth note. And again, in this case, I will do it slowly, arriving on each note. And here, next step, of course, is memorization of both the tune, of both the pitch, and your physical movements. By physical movements, I mean not only movements of the fingers, but also where your thumb was. Uh, relaxing your hand slightly, making sure it doesn't get stuck. Always remember your thumb shouldn't be back like this and squeezing. Of course not. So you memorize the whole deal together with the bow. So it's, that's why I would so it's very important not to let your bow be in a wrong position or too close to the uh, uh, fingerboard or too close to the bridge. No, place it in a nice uh, position, uh, contact point, and then practice in there, slowly hearing every note and doing every arrival. Checking if necessary. Now I think I'm ready to go a little bit faster. Each note I would place very carefully. Next repeat, a little bit faster. The other thing you could do in this specific little passage, uh, if your passage only goes one direction, you can choose the places, placements of your notes, and instead of A, B, C, and D, for instance, play A, B, D, C, A, C, D, B, and so forth. So that way you will know the whole environment, as I usually say, around those four notes, and then you gradually accelerate. Every time you repeat, you have to have a stop in between. You have to assess how well you did the time before. What was in tune, what wasn't in tune. If it wasn't, you need to backtrack and make sure you clean, uh, you train a clean arrival, rather, uh, and repeat only what was clean. So when you work on intonation, in other words, you have to be exceptionally fresh in your mind in your ears have to be very open because otherwise you might be cleaning and might be repeating old mistakes and then the whole thing is for nothing. Another important thing to add, the last one perhaps, never clean more than four or five notes in the same stretch. Why? We usually cannot remember more than two, somewhat three sometimes notes out of tune. We can remember them, but we can't correct them. Our brain is not capable of correcting them quickly. So most important thing is not only to identify pitch, right, but identify, clean it, make sure it's clean, then go back, arrive to the clean place, to the clean spot, then memorize the process and the pitch, and then build upon it. Go to the next note, do the same, and then go to the beginning and repeat the whole little passage that you have created. Accelerate to the tempo and, of course, by memory. If you're doing something for the first time, do it by memory because all of our intonation, like everything else, is in our memory. It's not on the page. I hope you find this video useful. And if that's the case, please check out more of my videos on YouTube and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Also, visit my website for more interesting information. All links are in the description below. Thank you.